What's happening, folks? And welcome to an episode of the OS 708 Manchester United series. And it's been a very eventful episode. episode. First of all, hit the like button to help support the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more from this channel and this series in particular. Today is a mid-season report. How things are going. There's some transfer news in here as well if you stick around long enough. Um, but also, we're going to do a Champions League draw as well. So we've had one game off camera um, since last week. I didn't, I didn't record it. It was a pretty straightforward victory. Uh, West Ham United, 10 of Ronaldo got the goals. First half was really dull. I uh, didn't create anything, so I took the uh, initiative and brought some of the main players like Schneider, Giggs and... Um, Ronaldo on, and then we got a couple of goals. Um, and then later on, they got one back, uh, just from a bit of a slow kind of reaction to a set piece transition phase. Um, but then we uh, we're not really a, they weren't really a threat outside of that. So we got the win there, which is fantastic. So how are things are going in the season? Well, they're going really well. Um, we are on the table by what is it? One, two, three, four, six points, seven points. If you to count goal difference, which is massively in our favour, we didn't. We're not unbeaten, which is annoying. But I don't really care about being unbeaten. I'd rather win more trophies and just have an unbeaten season. Um, but it'd be cool if we could pull it off. Though it's quite a mean feat, obviously, to do that. If we could have pulled it off, obviously Arsenal did it famously, but they weren't really unbeatables because they lost in Champions League. But you know, whatever. Um, Champions League, we got for our Champions League group. We're going to see the draw in a moment. Um, wasn't as easy as it looks. I mean, if you go, it's Group E we're in, so let's get it up on its own so we can see. So Group E, it looks convincing, right? No. It wasn't. Uh, it was not convincing. Um, we struggled a bit. Obviously, the draw against Roma was a fair result. That one was the bad one. And it just... They were awkward. Get Shaka were awkward. Um, but we did beat AK Athens, uh, but not convincing in any of those games really. Uh, other than the Schalke at home, which then was a tricky game when they were like causing problems with like the whole um, long ball to the big brutes. Um, but yeah, uh, FA Cup we got Bristol City in the FA Cup third round. League Cup we got Preston in our next game, which we should win. And Community Shield run up against Chelsea, which is not important, but I would like to have won it. So, uh, in terms of the draw, let's look at that now. That's, that's what you all want to see. I am curious to see it. So, let's um, view the draw. So, you are the team. So, we are... How why are we unseeded? Eh? Hang on. Oh. That doesn't seem right. I was gonna say, yeah, that's better. That's better. I was gonna say it's it's that's better. Yeah, we won our group. I was gonna say we won our the group. So let's see who we get. I mean, I would love. Um, let's have a look on here actually. Um, the next bit. So, I would love someone like Fibacci or Anderlecht, honestly, but I'm not that lucky, honestly. So, next team is Bayern. Oh, I know we're getting, we're getting these. Just going to see it. Valencia, okay. So, just anyone but Barcelona, really. Or Porto. Porto could be awkward. Leone, we've got Benzema, I think, still, so that would be interesting. That's so what we've got. We've got We've got, um, okay, I mean, there is, obviously, I think he's still there, Benzema at Lyon. I'm pretty sure he is. Yeah, he is. I mean, we could go and get Benzema. Um, I'm not sure um, we can afford him right now, but we could do it. Obviously, this series is going to be to win Champions League with United. Uh, I'm thinking of making this one of two series that I'm doing at, at, at once um, on the channel. But we'll see. Um, and Evans, is he worth being, being to, I think Evans is probably worth having in the first team, I'll say now. Um, so yeah, in terms of the squad, the top goal scorer is my boy, Ronaldo, which is actually annoying, um, because I want my strikers getting the most goals, but Ronaldo, he can't fault him, he's been absolutely fantastic this season. But I will say, Tevez is starting to grow on me a lot more, he's got 12, go well, 12 games, 
um, and seven, then nine and three. Rooney, he's just not doing it. And it's interesting him from Bayern Munich. Now, I don't want to sell him. I'm not, I'm not going to sell him. But he Tevez just seems to be doing it more um, in terms of like converting his chances in front of goal. So that is why at the moment I'm leaning towards him being a striker. Um, I will say this. Where's your Schneider? Brilliant. We've got a optional fee of twenty point five million pound to bring him in. And I'm considering activating that option. Uh but I need to sell some players though to bring him in. So I'm gonna to look to be I'm gonna probably look to try and sell Louis Saha. Um I need to try and keep this guy next season. Um because he's absolutely brilliant. Seven goals, nine assists, he's just brilliant. He's just way his passing ability, his movement is is really, really good. Um, so we'll keep him for next season if we possibly can. I mean, we, have we got any players out on loan at the moment who we can maybe look to sell? Not like Danny Simpson, for example, but um, can, I bring, can I bring these guys back? No. There's nobody else really um, that I can really sell at this point, honestly. I mean, look at the youth team here, Johnny Evans. I mean, these guys like these, just to try and get something for them, you know. Um, I'm not going to use them, ever. Um, just try and get some money in for them and try and sell them on. But yeah, I mean, um, it's going really well this season. I'm really happy. The only issue with this team is we're lacking a bit of quality in the fullback areas. Um, when we lose Evro and Gary Neville, I'm not convinced. So Vish is getting a new contract just because the simple matter is I need to keep him. But he's not amazing, but he's still got good physicals and good defending. So... He's okay. The right back situation is an issue. Gary Neville, I love him, but he ain't great uh, attacking wise. He he's solid at right back. He's not made a single mistake yet. Um, but I need to look at bringing somebody in. And if you made this final video, this is who I'm bringing in. Philip Lam is coming in. Reason being is he's, he's in my price range. He can play left back and right back, which is a big tick for me because I love that. And I just think it'd be kind of cool to have Lam in the team. Um, it's a bit of fun this series, honestly. So yeah, he's in the team. I'm very happy. Well, it's not, not it's not done yet. Um, but is we we agreed, we agreed the fee, agreed the contract terms. It's all about will he actually sign on dotted line. And the fee is like fifty million pound up front, with over fifty fifty million pound over, over you know cost of the contract. Denver Silver coming in January as well on loan. There's no clause in the deal where we can actually keep him. Um, but again, it's that extra quality in that position, Cam, and just to give us a bit of boost to try and win the league, and obviously we try and win Champions League as well with them. Um, in this series, I want to try and pull this off. I mean, the problem is, is I've got two of the series on this channel I want to do as well, so I'm going to do a vote to see what people prefer um, to do because I always give my viewers on the channel the chance to give their opinions on what we should do because I want to get the one I'm not too worried about is the Deportivo one because uh, it's a long term save and we're not going to be achieve the main aim Champions League in that one anyway. But this one, and Bayern Munich, I want to try and complete at, 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 at the earliest. Now, it's a matter of can I focus, can I can I do two saves at once in terms of in my head, you know, maintain them both. Um, it's and also the, the thumbnails are the same, but they're both red, so it's a bit weird and to just different, dif, dif, differentiate. But anyway, but yeah, I'm really pleased how things are going, generally speaking, in the Champions League and everything. I mean, Leon, look, look at the draw here. Any game, any game is standing out. Bayern and Inter is one that stands out. Porto and Chelsea is one. Um, but of course, Mino's not there anymore, is he? Uh, where is Justin Mino actually right now? Is he... He's unemployed, is Justin Mino. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Ah, he's already, he's already a coach here. Cool. Um, um, one player I'd love... 
Beckham. And the only reason being is because he's my favorite all-time favorite player alongside Ronaldo. Yeah, can't follow that. I'm not playing that with me for 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 him. Um, yeah, I don't think he's done. He's done. He's tired now, aren't he? Yeah, he's he's, he's tired. I'm just curious this database is really really fascinating to see who's available and who's not. So yeah, and very pleased things are going in Champions League. So you can see there, that's the main two ties: Barcelona and Inter, Porto and Chelsea. But that's not very relevant. Ajax and AC Milan is a cool one. Roma and Arsenal. Who's the Arsenal manager still? It's Arsene Wenger. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I can't complain how this, how this is going. We're in a really good position, both in the Champions League, won our group, top of the table, decent cup draws, uh, two good players coming in in January, in Lam and Silva. I can't find an issue, other than we're not having a great scoring return on our strikers, um, but we are finding some success with Tevez up front. That seems to be working better right now. And we're trying to move some players on. We'll see if we get off of those players while, while, while we're still here. Van Sar injured for three to four weeks. That's annoying. Um, so we're going to play the guy who... Ben Foster can go in there. Actually, Ben Foster's not bad, actually. Uh, that's fine. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, we're getting players back slowly now. Um, we need to... Rotate more. But I think it's a matter of just getting better players into the squad to rotate with, honestly, at this point. And then we'll see um, where we're at come January window. But I think David Silva coming in and Vert Lang coming in has more strength to two areas, which, are, which I'm struggling with. The fullbacks, I'm struggling with the quality of the guy never and ever go out. And then Anderson, when they're off with Schneider, they're off a cam. This formation works really well just to get better quality. And honestly, I don't know who's going to start. Silva might start with Schneider, honestly, in that position. Uh, but I think the, the 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 key is they're both top quality players and they can both start and that's what I'm after. Uh, the main course is to get Champions League win and then um, go from there. So um, in terms of this database, in case you're wondering where it is and where it's coming from, episode one, um, go watch that episode. There's a link in the description to this database in in, in that in that. Um, video and it's basically just a link to the guy's website who made it he said asked him what link what's your link should i put in there and he basically said just put in my website because i think he wants to promote all these databases he's done another one or he's doing another one for fm24 after alongside this one i think he's either released it or he's about to release it i'm pretty sure it's one of them so yeah um go check him out uh really fun i will try and i'm going to talk to this guy about doing like a consistent um, database series every year with him and it would probably be alongside United because it's just my team um, and we'll see which database he wants to, to feature next year and that kind of thing obviously we've got a lot of time now to have 24 finishes um, so we shall see um, but overall guys yeah um, your thoughts on this series do you want to see it all the rest of the year to see how far we can get and what cool players can develop in the team, or do do want to do Champions League win, then that's it. Um, I know people like my United series because you know a lot of people I say a lot of people. It's not uncommon for people to make comments saying, "Dude, my United series do one." Um, but yeah, we're doing really well. I'm really pleased with it. To marry this guy in his prime or close to his prime or get towards his prime is always a joy. Uh, and we can maybe set some fun targets in this save. Like, there's there is a short list of players, you know. The, you know you can pick off a name and we can try and sign them uh, I do want a keeper um, to replace I mean honestly do we need to go keeper really you look at Ben Foster here and you go to development and training oh no sorry uh, comparison my mistake and you go to like Van der Sar and then you go to attributes Van der Sar is, a, is, is top but Ben Foster ain't far behind. So, honestly, I think signing a goalkeeper doesn't need necessarily make sense. I think we need to play Ben Foster more because he, I don't know, obviously, I didn't make his database, I didn't say make this guy insane, but he's very good. Um, and he matches, his passing isn't great, um, but everything else is equal if not better 
than uh, than the site. I mean, we could put a training attribute here um, to can we? There we go. Just to prove his, just to, just to improve his. Um, I'm trying to see is there any way of just like focusing on this one. What role would be? Okay, just just focus on that passing and get a bit higher because that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Actually, to be fair, have I got, have I got keepers to do that? Yeah, see, this could be a problem um, with him. Um, let's just do that. Try that a bit. Yeah, so that could be a problem. Are you saying what's what's one of the passing? It's twelve. So we need to get that improved, and that could be the only problem with Ben Foster. Um, but I don't think he's necessary to buy a goalkeeper right now. I think what it could be is we keep Ben Foster's back up. We use Van der Sar, but then maybe we buy another goalkeeper, a young goalkeeper to develop who can play out from the back. And if Van der Sar, Van der Sar retires, Ben Foster's first choice goalkeeper, but the young goalkeepers, you know what I mean? So we've got a decent backup if we have to buy a young goalkeeper. Because I'm looking at goalkeepers right now. When I mean, you're looking at people like, I'm looking at, we could go for David De Gea. Right? We could go for David De Gea. Oh my God, what a, re what a release clause that is. You know what? I'm doing this now. Screw it. I'm doing this on camera right now. I don't care. It's so... Ah, he's a general club. Fair enough. When did he join? All ah, right. So, um, we'll keep an eye on that. Because um, that's the good deal to maybe do. But we've, got, we've also got Neuer, who Ace Milan want to sign, who honestly might be the guy. He honestly might be the guy. Um, but we'll see. Your thoughts, down below, guys. We could go. For, we could go for something like people like Neymar, but not really that de that developed. Which is a, it is like Brazil. Um, let's have a look at. Oh my God, Roberto Carlos. Oh my God, Roberto Carlos. Would he want to join United though? I would love a bit of Carlos. I know he's 34, but the lols would be hilariously funny. Make a bit of 10 minutes to see what they say. But yeah, I would love Ronaldinho. I would love Ronaldinho or Messi in his team. I think Ronaldinho would be an absolute dream of a player to have. Um, or Messi. But you've got your first time below, guys. Um... What do you think, guys, on what ultimate player should we go for? Uh, or former player we should go and bring in? We're obviously bringing in a couple of players now with David Silva. I think mean, any players, guys, you think United were linked with and didn't sign in the past in this database, in this when it was set, that you think we should try and fix and, you know, put right? Let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to sign them. But obviously, it's got to make sense to sign. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode down below. It's my Let's Play channel and my EFC channels. Until next time, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.